always curious about these cool and scary looking router bits with carbide inserts. Luckily, FindbyTool contacted me about a month ago to send me a set of domino router bits for review. Unfortunately, I don't have a domino machine, so after a closer inspection on their site, I found these router bits. I asked them if they could send me this instead, and they agreed, and I'm super thankful. I'm not sponsored by them and I don't get paid to make this review. I do get a percentage of the sales through the affiliate links in the description. Fresh out of the box they are looking great, although the inserts on this one are not marked on corners. Not a big deal, but it will be difficult to tell in which direction I will shift them. They also send me 5 extra carbide inserts and a key for changing them. Before I start testing them, I have to make sure that all the inserts are secured tightly, which to my surprise not all of them were. Keep this in mind before using one of these for the first time. We don't want any of these things flying towards us. The dimensions are 30 by 50 mm for the bit with the carbide inserts and 22 by 30 mm for the solid carbide bit. Both bits have a half inch shank and a top bearing. As a size comparison, this is the biggest router bit I have in my workshop. Next to the one with carbide inserts, it looks like a child. This thing is huge and this is an advantage. It will have more inertia when spinning, resulting in better performance when cutting in the material. That's why this thing must be used only on router tables. On a closer inspection they both seem to be well built and machined. We will see if they perform as well as they look because that's more important. For the test I am using two pieces of European Acacia for each bit, this being the hardest wood I have in my workshop. One piece is straight, the second is tapered to see if the bit bites into the fiber, creating tear out. Also I will do a cut on the end grain. And for a more demanding job I prepare two pieces of ash at the same thickness as the bit. I will flush trim them using a round template, this way fixing my awful jigsaw cuts. It will make sense soon. From each piece of wood I will first remove 5 mm of material, which I think is the maximum amount that someone can remove safely at once. And second I will remove just a millimeter or less to see how they handle the surface finish. Enough talking, let's get going. About those 5 mm I talked about, I kind of exaggerated here, do not repeat this. Starting with the solid carbide bit test pieces, we can see that it did a pretty good job of cutting along the grain with some marks but overall it made a good finish. On the tapered piece the same story, good finish, no tear out but still that mark along the cut. On the end grain 
things are a bit different. It felt easy to cut, but it left some heavy burnt marks. This shows the hardness of this wood. On the round pieces of ash, the quality of the cut is okay with minimal tear out and some burnt marks, usually where the bit meets the end grain. Moving to the carbide insert router bit, I was impressed with the finish it gave on the pieces and how easy it felt when cutting them. Also, it did a great job on the round pieces of ash, even though I kind of went crazy removing so much material at once, but it went through them like they were nothing. It did left some tear out and burnt marks, but that's where I removed the most material. As a sound comparison, I can sit comfortably next to it without sound protection. The sound of the other bit that I compared size with, sitting next to it when running, it's unbearable and it vibrates a lot. By the way, this is a Bosch bit. It's time for the final test where I am smoothing things out. The results are great, every cut is smooth, don't mind the vertical strip marks, those are from my crappy templates. Both of the bits seem to leave those line marks along the cut, but it's nothing serious, sanding will solve this issue. A disadvantage for the carbide inserts bit is that it will be more difficult to clean thanks to all the small crevices from its complex shape. You'll need to remove all the inserts to clean it properly. But the huge advantage is that you will have a new bit with three extra sharp edges when you swap the inserts. Overall the bits are great, for the past two weeks or so they were a great addition to my tool collection. They helped me to build and finish the projects I've been working on so far. Thank you Find by Tool for sending me this. Found this review useful or not? Tell me in the comments below. You will find the links for this router bits in the description. For those who are new here, I would highly appreciate it if you subscribe. Thanks for watching.